Welcome back as Kronos the Newtons demo was released on Steam Store a few days ago. In this video I'll be testing it on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll be showing you how to use TLSS for upscale in conjunction with XCSS or FSR frame gen. With the former, XCSS low latency mode will work and with the latter, NVIDIA Reflex will work. I'll use OptiScaler mod to achieve this. The game officially supports FSR 3.1, both upscaling and frame generation. But FSR frame gen is not decoupled from the upscaler. We cannot combine DLSS upscaler with FSR frame gen. The game is shipped with DLSS for upscaler DLL file. But the render preset is set to E, which corresponds to DLSS upscaler CNN model. So I'll be using OptiScaler mod to change the render preset to K, which corresponds to the upscaler's transformer model. My GPU only has 8 GB of VRAM. This game running at full HD resolution and low settings can easily consume more than 8 GB of VRAM. This was causing the game's performance to tank on my PC. So I ended up using another mod to reduce the VRAM usage. The game also comes with a very low preset. With this preset, VRAM usage stays around 7.5 GB, but TLSS subscaler does not work. Ray tracing gets disabled automatically when using low or very low preset. First, I'll run the game without any mods installed, show you the base game performance. To verify the upscaler's details, I'll simply use TLSS debug overlay. Quickly show you how to activate it. Just copy the registry code here. Need to execute it. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file. Save, close, select the file, right click, open, yes, ok, that's it. We'll be using RTSS and Afterburner to show you the performance stats. Just open RTSS, click on setup, scroll down to the end. Uncheck enable frame rate limiter and inject NVIDIA Reflex latency marker setting. Enable use Microsoft D2's API hooking setting, ok, ready to run the game. In game settings, display mode set to borderless, resolution full HD, ray tracing off, no FPS cap applied, vsync off, I have enabled vsync from NVIDIA control panel, upscaler set to DLSS using its quality preset, no access to frame generation setting. If you want to use FSR frame generation, you need to set the upscaler to FSR. In game FSR upscaler produces very ugly texture shimmering, not recommended. Using the low graphics preset, motion blur, chromatic abrasion, disabled. We are in, there is a character, the traveler, I will just exit this compound, here we are getting around 70 fps, look at that VRAM usage, it is increasing, 7.7 GB and check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner, version of the upscaler 310.3.0, yeah here the game is stuttering, 40 fps, render PC used this E, it's the CNN model of TLSS. Yeah, if you stop to 35, game is running out of VRAM. Lack of VRAM is causing the game's performance to tank. This is so disappointing. Now I'm outside. Yeah, if you increase to 70. Look at that ugly stuttering. DLSS auto expert setting is on. I'll show you another instance of the game running out of VRAM just like this. See, FPS suddenly dropped from 70 to 50. Okay, now I'll show you how to install a third party mod to reduce this high VRAM usage. Also, show you how to install OptiScaler mod. 50 FPS here. We'll be using Ultra Plus mod for Kronos to reduce the VRAM usage uploaded by Laser on Nexus Mods website. You can download it for free. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Files. Click on Manual Download under the latest version of the mod. At the time of recording this video, it's version 0.2.8. Click on Slow Download. We'll be using OptiScaler Mods version 0.9, preview 4 2025-0922 build. It's available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description of the video. 
जस्ट लिख ऑन द डॉट सेवन जी लिंक है नॉल इंस्टॉल ऑफ डिस के लिए मॉड जस्ट ओपन द मॉड्स आ गए फाइल सिलेक्ट द हाईलाइटेड फाइल्स ऑफ डिस के लिए डॉट आई एन आई ऑफ डिस के लिए डॉट टी एल एल लिब एक्स एस एस अंडर स्को एफ जी डॉट टी एल एल डी एक्स लैन वर्जन ऑफ एक्स सी एस एस सुपर रेजोल्यूशन नॉट रिक्वायर्ड लिब एक्स सी एस एस डॉट टी एल एल एक्स सी एस एस सुपर रेजोल्यूशन फाइल फॉर डी एक्स ट्वेल्व एंड वर्कन ए पी आईज लिब एक्स सी एल एल डॉट टी एल एल एक्स सी एस एस लो लेटेंसी मोड फाइल फेक एन वी ए पी आई डॉट आई एन आई फेक एन वी ए पी आई डॉट टी एल एल फेक एन वी ए पी आई विल रिप्लेस द इन गेम रिफ्लेक्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन विद एक्स सी एस एस लो लेटेंसी मोड नॉट यूजिंग नुकम नाइन स्मार्ट वर्कन वर्जन ऑफ फिडल टी एफ एक्स नॉट रिक्वायर्ड जस्ट सिलेक्ट ऑल ऑफ द डी एक्स ट्वेल्व वर्जन ऑफ फिडल टी एफ एक्स फाइल्स राइट लेक कॉपी सिलेक्ट द गेम इन योर स्टीम लाइब्रेरी राइट लेक मैनेज क्लिक ऑन ब्राउज लोकल फाइल्स ओपन क्रोनोस फोल्डर बाइनरीज फोल्डर विन सिक्सटी फोर फोल्डर पेस्ट एवरीथिंग है रिप्लेस जस्ट चेंज द नेम ऑफ ऑफ डिस्क एल डॉट टी एल एल फाइल टू डी एक्स टी आई डॉट टी एल एल दैट्स इट द मॉड हैज बिन इंस्टॉल नॉल बी इंस्टॉलिंग अल्ट्रा प्लस मॉड ओपन इट्स आ गए फाइल ओपन क्रोनोस फोल्डर डोंट कॉपी द कंटेंट फोल्डर जस्ट कॉपी बाइनरीज फोल्डर कंटेंट फोल्डर इंक्लूड्स अ पैक फाइल दैट कैन अफेक्ट द गेम्स विजुअल्स दैट्स वाई आई वॉन्ट बी यूजिंग इट जस्ट ओपन द गेम्स इंस्टॉल डायरेक्ट्री ओपन क्रोनोज फोल्डर पेस्ट द बाइनरीज फोल्डर है ओपन बाइनरीज फोल्डर विन सिक्सटी फोर फोल्डर इन दिस डायरेक्ट्री यू ई फो एस एस फोल्डर एंड डी डब्ल्यू एम ए पी आई डॉट डी एल एल फाइल शुड बी प्रेजेंट इनेबलिंग हार्ड पे एक्सलेटेड जी पी यू शेडलिंग सेटिंग इज नॉट अ मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर यूजिंग एक्स सी एस एस फ्रेम जेन बट इफ यू हैव एन आर टी एक्स जी पी यू इट्स रिकमेंडेड टू इनेबल दिस सेटिंग राइट क्लिक एनी वे ऑन द डेस्कटॉप क्लिक ऑन डिस्प्ले सेटिंग्स क्लिक ऑन ग्राफिक्स क्लिक ऑन एडवांस ग्राफिक्स सेटिंग्स एंड इनेबल दिस सेटिंग हार्ड पे एक्सलेटेड जी पी यू शेडलिंग इफ यू मॉन्ट इज सपोर्ट्स वी आर आ इनेबल द सेटिंग एज वेल नॉन इनेबल वीसिंग फ्रॉम एन वीडिया कंट्रोल पैनल Click on Manage Steady Settings. Click on Program Settings. From this drop-down bar, select Chronos the New Dawn. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. My monitor is G-Sync compatible. I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Just click on Set up G-Sync and enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. Enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display and check this setting. G-Sync compatible indicator. We are ready to run the game. Play. We are in the games menu. Now I'll be executing a console command that will lower texture streaming VRAM allocation. This will help in reducing the VRAM usage at the cost of minor texture pop in. Just press the tilde key. This key is right below the escape key. Now just type R dot streaming dot pool size space 1024 then hit enter i'll give this command in the description of the video load it the same sequence now vram usage should stay below 7.5 gb just open optiskeller mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key upscaler dlss version 310.3.0 input in game dlss upscaler DXJS spoofing setting off, DLSS auto expose setting on, no frame generation enabled for the time being. I'll just switch to DLSS full upscaler transformer model. Check this setting. Render presets override. Click on the drop down bar next to override preset and select preset K from here. Click on apply changes. Check out DLSS debug overlay. Render preset change to K. I'll enable OptiScaler's performance overlay. Expand this setting FPS overlay. Check this setting FPS overlay enable. Full plus graph. Scale 1.3. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. Save and I close. I'll just go outside. Yeah, VRAM usage is around 7.2 GB. Game should stutter less now. FPS should stay above 60 for the most part. I'm not observing any drop in the visual fidelity. 
yeah in this area fps drop to around 50 before using the third party mod which helped in reducing the vram usage we are still getting 60 fps vram usage never exceeded 7.5 gb okay now i'll show you how to enable fsr frame gen just open optiskiller mod menu click on the drop down bar next to fg source select tlss gui streamline as the option the game supports tlss frame generation and streamline version 2.8 so this option will work just fine we won't be required to deal with hard fix click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select fsr fg with fsr frame generation nvidia reflex will work click on save and i close and restart the game unfortunately you need to execute the console command every time you restart the game i'll do it quickly now you just need to enable the in-game tlss frame generation setting yeah the setting got unlock on apply once the game loads up just open optiscaler menu check the setting active under frame generation fsr fg allow async setting enable as well i'll show you fsr frame gen debug view check the setting debug view yeah no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image games interface it won't flicker with fsr frame gen enable the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images smoothing effect of fsr frame gen should work properly dlss debug only is visible in the bottom middle image just disable it after verifying the upscaler's details displays are working properly for all of the images disable the debug view play the game fps increased to around 110 can observe the added amount of smoothness games hard elements they are not flickering only dlss debug hole is flickering as expected latency it's manageable as the base fps is close to 60 not observing any ghosting around our character model compass objective is highlighted on it the yellow diamond you can definitely use fsr frame gen vram usage is around 7.2 gb game is playable on gpus with 8 gb of vram but not without the ultra plus mod so this is very disappointing okay now i'll show you how to use xcss frame gen open optiscaler menu just disable fsr frame gen uncheck active and allow async settings under frame generation section make sure dlss gui streamline is selected as the frame generation source click on the drop down bar next to fg output and select xc fg as the option click on save and i close and restart the game again execute the console command make sure that the end game dlss frame generation setting is enabled once the game loads up open optiscaler menu check the setting active under frame generation xcfg yeah frame time graph will become thick like this means xcss frame gen is working you can check the debug view if XVSS frame generation is not working, these purple sidebars won't appear at all. Disable the debug view. Just play the game. Yeah, here we are getting around 110 FPS. Animation quality is looking much smoother than before when we had the game running without frame gen. Latency is not an issue. XVSS frame gen's latency is slightly lower than that of FSR frame gen. Again, VRAM usage is around 7.3 GB. I'll show you some combat. Games hard elements are not flickering. Even the crosser is not flickering. Again, I'm not observing any graphical artifacts around our character model. Ultra Plus mod also helps in reducing stuttering without the mod installed. I encountered traverser stutters from time to time. It 
still alive. You use the flame attack. It's done. 90 to 100 FPS. Before ending the video, I'll show you how to disable TLSS debug overlay. Just edit the overlay.rg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, save, close. Run this registry file, right click, open. Yes, okay. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.